Hello again. I got my wrench uh, wrapped so it stays tight so I don't have to squeeze it constantly. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that cold working again. Get it pretty nice and tight. Now in the past, um, I used to be able to loosen that wrench up and slide it up the trunk further, but with this double twist, uh, the loosening of the wrench just really kind of refuses to happen. So it's uh, take it off and rewrap it when that when I need to move it. But oh well, and uh, I wouldn't be too gung ho on uh, starting one of these double twist trees until I get this one finished because uh, as I said I've never done this before and hopefully I won't end up scrapping this one we'll see you never know until you try right And the reason why I use that red stuff down here is because like I stretched it and it's got some stretch to it so uh, hopefully if I you know get that a little bit tighter down here when I'm twisting up here um, that stretch will kind of take that up and uh, so this thing can kind of tighten up by itself a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my arm around there and kind of hold that. Then you get the one wrap around there and you just kind of pull it real tight. And go ahead and get the wrench a little bit tighter and then hard to see I'm pulling that strap with this hand while I'm twisting because I want to get this as tight as possible try and slide it down just a little bit because I don't want too much of a gap right here because uh, a loose wire will pop out in there somewhere
Okay, I think I got that as tight as it's going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, whoops, make sure it stays tight. Go ahead and uh, get a little bit of plastic right in there in that loose spot so there won't be any uh, wires popping out in there. And then uh, with this wrap, you really kind of want to stretch it a little bit, the last few wraps, because it helps it hold. Okay, talk to you again soon.